Okay. On purpose, we have decided to leave at the background the sound of a performance, a video performance, because it helps us to explain better what happens in this sequence, in this, in this series of pieces. We're going to start again for the net, but in this moment, the net starts taking a new place. It is the net that explains the daily life. It's almost like if daily life, we take it as a performance act. And this performance act is documented and kept inside of photography, the photography that becomes an artist book. Artist books are created artistically, like, like the word itself says, an artist book that doesn't need words, but represents a series of sequences of events to tell a story. Not necessarily has to be even a story, it could be just that the, uh, the book itself becomes an art piece. So I'm going to explain here the images that daily life are documented and kept in images to represent almost something that looks like a performance act. And then we move to an artist that does performance art. And then that performance is documented and transformed into a photograph that becomes the art piece itself. Remember Cecilia Stellini is already known in this area because we have had the, the possibility of working with her in different occasions. If you see that the veil is covering her body and the veil, the fabric, is also related to the net and to what we are going to see in the following impressive performances. Also, these objects that she is hanging and using as part of her performance, then become a sculptural objects that are presented either in ceramic, in bronze, or creating another artist book. This book is not meant to be read. It's meant to, it's just an object. It's a sculptural object that relates to the, to the performance that she has created initially. Then, we move to see the, that this window has, and we made it on purpose, keeping the curtain, because the curtain relates to the veil, the, the, the cheer cloth that was covering the performer in the previous position, and the fabric relates to an important movement of painting in the, in the 80s in Brazil, that it was called the return of painting in Brazil. Notice that for these pieces, contemporary art doesn't even need to be framed. We don't need to use the frame. Just the simple fabric is what it is important because it's placing the painting on the fabric. That's painting. Why? We don't need to have a frame. Why? This art relates also to other issues, for example, about feminism and about the concept of the Pandora box. The Pandora box is this idea of permanently having hope. But hope is, is like, a, like an illusion. Why hope? It's almost like we are wishing always to, to have something that we cannot have. Instead, she is placing herself in a natural setting, almost like going back to the first image, that her body as the body of these females are almost rooted to the ground and becoming and transforming into an it. And then we follow to the performance that we wanted to see, the video performance. Where the artist is covered by a chill cloth and the performance is happening and the object, he, the person himself or herself becomes an sculptural object. 